I carry my phone with me wherever I go, and I'm I'm assuming that many of you are in the same boat or same car. I mean, not the same car, but I'm saying that you're in the same. You usually drive with your phone. Hopefully, not talking on the phone while you're driving. That's not safe. It's also not safe to leave your phone on the dash because you know if you stop suddenly, it could lodge itself into your skull. That uh, interface has not been fully developed yet, so it's not recommended. I really don't know where to put my phone when I'm driving. I throw it in the passenger seat. I set it, um, you know, up next to. Uh, well, I don't know really what you would call it, a little compartment where I keep chapstick and coupons and whatnot. But it's not really, um, it doesn't work, right? You know, I want easy access to it uh, without having to fumble and, and fiddle with things. And so when I was given the opportunity to review the PED3 Auto from thoughtout.biz, I said, yeah, sure, I'd love to give it a shot. In fact, uh, the chatters here at live.perillo.com will likely give you that link. Oh, thank you, Dimitri. I appreciate that. Uh, what's interesting about the PED3 Auto is, yes, at the top there, you've got the, uh, the grip, uh, like a, a rubber padded grip uh, in which you can uh, place your iPod or your iPhone. This is the iPhone version, at least that I know of. It's the iPhone version. Um, the, uh, the only challenge is that you have to remove your external case for your iPod or your iPhone to be able to get it in the grips, which I'm not really inclined to do because I don't really want to loosen the case for my iPhone or iPod. Um, that's one small oversight that they've made at least with the PED3 Auto. But if you do not have an external case for your iPod or your iPhone and you want a place to put your iPhone in an easily accessible fashion in your car, uh, the PED3 Auto may be uh, for you. Um, it's also very, uh, this, believe it or not, is configurable. There are a few options you can go with. Um, and, uh, let me unscrew this part, not damage anything. I've got suction cups uh, on the bottom of my mount or the base for the mount. Uh, of course, if I wanted to, I could also screw it into my car uh, somewhere, wherever I wanted to put it. I don't want to do that since it's a, a lease. Uh, but I uh, unscrewed from this part of the base. I could also screw it in here so I can uh, essentially have that option. And then I could also screw it in here. So there are three places in which you can place the holding portion of uh, the uh, PED3 Auto. So it, it will actually conform to however you want to have your holder set up in your car. Uh, I'm using the suction cups. Uh, I'm likely going to find the uh, perfect place to put it. Oops, sorry, as long as I don't damage everything in the process. Sorry about that. Can screw it in if I wanted to. It also comes with a, a full-on mounting kit. Um, but... Uh, I've yet to decide whether or not it's worth it to remove the external case uh, for my iPhone when I'm actually driving around. It's available right now for $50, so if you want something temporary or permanent, PED3 Auto is certainly giving you that amount of flexibility as well as the flexibility of being able to choose whether you want it to be mounted this way, this way, or this way with the base being what it is. It's uh, also flexible. Uh, this particular part, I can bend it in just about any direction. It's omnidirectional. Now, of course, you can only bend it so far, uh, but it does bend quite far, and it doesn't seem to be giving out, and it feels just as strong, just as sturdy. When it's there, it's not moving. That's the way it's going to be. Uh, so again, the PED3 Auto, uh, flexible for either temporary or permanent holding for your uh, iPhone or your iPod. Uh, plenty more, of course, is available at thoughtout.biz. Uh, you'd be crazy to pass this up if you needed something like this. You might as well get something that has the, the amount of flexibility that the PED3 Auto has. You know, temporary, permanent, as well as, you know, real flexibility. So it's kind of like a, uh, just take a look if you'd like it. I just think it looks cool. Look at that. It's kind of, it's almost like a, you can, it doubles as a head scratcher too, and a back scratcher. It's kind of great. So it's very, uh, versatile. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You're more than welcome to drop me a line. Give me your thoughts on uh, what you use to uh, mount the uh, your iPod or your iPhone in your car if you do at all. Of course, you're also more than welcome to stop by our community of geeks, geeks.perillo.com. Plenty of people dispensing advice and asking for it as well. 
on a daily basis, minutely basis, actually. Every, things happen. All In fact, if you go to geeks.perlo.com, the activity stream is front and center. You find out what people are doing, where they're doing it, who they're doing it with. I mean, like, online. And just their, their activities on the website. Then you're also more than welcome to stop by our uh, chat room, uh, which is open all the time since it's the internet. It's, it's also a part of this live video experience since I recorded this particular synopsis slash review slash I'm just going to ah, set this down before I hurt somebody, namely myself. The chat room is available uh, for you to stop by. If you like talking tech, well, then you'd feel right at home here watching this live video feed, potentially. My, my my life here unfolding in front of the camera that's streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.